So little wiki one says level calibrating to bed layers to 75 dB. Would you level calibrate subs to 85? So 10 dB hot. Ryan would suggest 40 dB hot. Um, my old AVR doesn't have room correction. Okay. So he's got an older AVR. He's got to kind of manually do this. Um, so level matching. So I know our ears don't hear bass. I guess we don't perceive bass the same that we do higher frequencies. So that's why typically when you, um, a lot of guys like myself will add like what they call a house curve. So you've got more bass. It's higher on the frequency or on the uh, SPL. And then it kind of slopes down heading towards the higher frequencies. Um, so as far as specifics though, Ryan, what would you recommend there? Is that a good place to start and then adjust accordingly? Yeah. I, I talked about this earlier. Do what you think feels right. Play mm -hmm. your favorite song and then adjust the low frequency until it feels right to you and mm -hmm. then go from there. Don't go down this path of, well, what should I do? Just mm -hmm. continually make modifications and change it and listen to things until you think it's right. That's yeah. the most important thing. Do this for you, right? So mm -hmm. I think typically you're going to want to boost your subs. The most, Virtually everyone I talk to wants their mm -hmm. subs 8 to 10 dB hot. Right. Because without that, it's you're not going to have yeah, enough at the it's low not end. Exciting. Because yeah, it's we not perceive exciting. low frequency very differently than we perceive high frequency. Yep. So a boost is virtually unanimously desired. Now, yeah. how high that is going to be is going to be very different. <laughs> Depends on your obsession. Right. So, yeah, so he also being... mentions he's using a mini DSP. So he's got uh -huh. that. So that's great. So yeah. that means you're able to measure, get a calibrated microphone. Um, like a U mic one or a Behringer mic or Jonathan recommends. What's the other one? Omni mic. Hiron Omni mic. So yeah. one of those. The Omni mic is probably the easiest to use. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just going to say start between eight and ten, and then continue to increase until you find what's suitable. Okay. Cool. So a couple other thoughts. He says Harmon curve suggests a ten dB hot, yep. and then he also says um, it's EQ'd. Yeah. Well, perfect, man. Sound like you. To be pretty flat. So yeah, I don't so like just a flat it. basic. Yeah, I don't like Well, a, I think he's saying, maybe he's saying on. his frequency response is flat and then you just boost it up and down from there. So I, that's where you usually want to start. You want to EQ flat and then you want to boost to whatever you, you need. Yeah. And so inside REW, it allows you to kind of create a curve or you can install um, something like the Harmon curve. And then it'll kind of try to plot that out for you. But I like having a little bit boosted. Um, definitely. I think Tony, if I remember correctly, he's probably what 12. Tony, answer in the chat. I think he's about 12 to 16 dB hot. Yeah, Jonathan giving me crap for being 20. It's not that bad, guys. Most of us Tony, like I'm it curious, man. What, do, what do you run your... Guys, let me know in the chat. What do you... If you know how hot you run your subs... Just curious. Okay, so Tony, man, I got a pretty good memory, at least with that. I'm, my memory on other things absolutely is trash, but he says he runs it eight to twelve dB, eight to twelve dB hot. Um, so cool, man. And yeah, little wiki. That's what we're saying that you calibrate or EQ for flat, <laughs> and then <laughs> boost like whatever your house curve is going to be. Most people are going to want, you know, ten. That is so true. Twenty. Scott Newby, 40 dB hot. Man, yeah, he weird. doesn't do that all the time, though, does he? <laughs> I know. No, I so. that's just, he likes to do it and show you what his system can do. It is. I will safely say, though, the demos that I did yesterday, mm -hmm. I always, I did all of them how I listened to them. Yeah, it's not me pushing anything. It's not me doing anything where, hey, check this out. It's very much of how I would listen to it. <laughs> For sure. Dude, that's Brian, hilarious. yes, I guess. <laughs> kind of afraid to run subs hot, did the MSO wizard to get that smooth bass response uh, and use bass is pretty freaking nice, man. I love good quality bass. All right. It last. can get you in trouble though. If you're pushing really hot and your subs aren't capable because then you oh, run into true. the day after whatever the day after tomorrow intro yeah. scene and blow your yep. subs out. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, live, die, repeat, which is what it was called or mm -hmm. um, edge of tomorrow. Edge of tomorrow. That's right. Mm -hmm. You were close. I you was in there. 